Just to briefly introduce myself, as Nomi mentioned, I'm Hilma Lapp. I uh, have been serving as the uh, president for the board of the Open Bioinformatics Foundation uh, since uh, 2011. And um, and um, just wanted to give you a brief overview um, of what the OBF is. Um, and so for most, for, or at least for a certain part here in the audience, this, there won't be anything new here. You will have seen this largely before. But one thing I always like to start with this with is uh, asking uh, the whole audience here to please raise your hand if this is your first BOSC ever. That's truly amazing, and I'm not sure we've ever had this full of room, so I'm very excited about this. This is uh, really, truly awesome to see, and this is the reason, um, you know, somewhere in the program we always have this uh, talk scheduled so that those new to the conference um, can learn a little bit more about the organization that's behind it and that runs this every year, right? So uh, just to let you know a little bit about what the OBF is, um, o you know, Open Bioinformatics Foundation, in short, OBF, it's an umbrella organization for all the BioStar projects, and in fact, meanwhile, several others as well. Um, we're a nonprofit, we're entirely volunteer run, and um, our mission is to promote the practice and philosophy of um, open science, in particular, open source software development and an open data sharing across the life sciences. Um, generally, what do we do? Um, well, for one, we run this conference. This is our flagship event. Um, we also run other events, uh, specifically the OBF Code Fest that has um, for uh, many years now preceded uh, BOSC. And uh, we also do a little bit of advocacy. Um, and then we actually can take in donations um, and manage um, assets on behalf of our, uh, of our member projects. Um, um, as I just said, we can, uh, you know, so we're, 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 we used to be our own incorporation with a sort of muddy uh, tech status um, since uh, several years. We're, we're now a member project of the Software in the Public Interest um, um, organization, which is a fiscal sponsor. And so through them, we're, uh, we can take tax-exempt donations in the U.S. as well as, I think, most countries of Europe through their sister organization here. Uh, this is just an FYI, you know, we try to be as open and transparent um, and, and sort of lift the spirit of open source wherever possible. That's including for our own internal processes and for our own documents. There's a GitHub repo where you can see how our policies, uh, bylaws, etc., develop. And in fact, you can uh, contribute to them like you can to every other open source project, right, through the normal mechanisms. Um, the OBF is governed by a board of directors. Um, I'll show you in a moment who's on them. Several of them are here. In fact, I think almost all of them except two. Um, and so the board is the governing or, uh, a body of the organization, right? It makes strategic, it makes decisions about strategic direction, priorities, what do we run, where do we put our weight behind, and so on and so forth. I um, mean, you can read more about it on the board. Um, so here, here, here's who's on the board. Again, you know, we're a volunteer-run organization. These are all volunteers, and so um, consider for yourself whether at some point, as you get more involved in the community, you might want to step up to this role as well, right? So um, as myself, um, serving as the president, um, Peter, um, who I think you've seen also, um, waving his hand here, um, he, who is the treasurer, and then there's Chris Fields, who can't be here as the secretary, Nomi, you've just seen here on the stage, um, and then uh, Karen Cranston, who couldn't be here, and newly elected last year, Heather Winko, who is waving her hand here, and who's also the co-chair for uh, this conference. Um, welcome to the board, Heather. We love to have you. Um, so just a couple of news and updates. Um, so um, some of you may know, this is just a quick wrap up that um, the OBF's main servers have been compromised um, last year. That process took a long, long time and a lot of work, but it's largely over moving application hosting um, to where we don't have to do the system administration and updates um, 
uh, laboriously by hand anymore. In most project wikis, as probably those involved uh, in the, our member project have noticed, are now all moved to GitHub, even though there are some uh, residual issues with them. Um, as I said before, one of the things that we do is we participate in this Google Summer of Code as a member, as a mentoring organization. We are, again, lucky enough to be participating in 2017. Our org admin is Kai Blinn, and you'll hear more about our participation from him himself in a moment, so I won't take time away from him here. Um, our flagship program, um, aside from our flagship events, really has become the OBF Trouble Fellowship Program. Um, it's something we've long wanted to do, and then we finally uh, made a commitment from our own assets and then uh, received a, a sizable donation as well from uh, 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 the National Evolutionary Synthesis Center uh, through um, um, its own participation or, or as from funds from its own participation in the Google Summer of Code after, the, after Nescent um, ended. And so this is a program um, that um, um, tries to um, help people um, with barriers they're facing that can be remediated or they can be alleviated through financial support um, when participating in community events, right? Whether these community events are conferences like this one or uh, maybe code sprints or maybe other events or even including training events, right? And so the main, the main goal here is to increase um, diversity, right, in all respects, um, in, from career stage, um, demographics, and so on and so forth. Um, we announced that last year, um, we ran our first uh, uh, three rounds last year, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. There are three rounds a year, um, um, April 15th, August 15th, and I think the third one is December 15th. Um, and so, just to sum up, last year we had we made a total of five awards, um, and uh, three of which only could be used in the end. One of which was for Bosque, um, one of which was for a code sprint, and one of which was for attending a training event. Uh, this year we've had our first round already, and um, which was actually exciting to see, uh, received a lot of applications, so apparently um, people are starting to take note of the program, uh, and, and hopefully it's going to get more popular, even if that, you know, in the end it's going to be more work for us. But there are two uh, recipients um, of the OBF Travel Award, hopefully here in this room, that's Jonathan Sobel uh, from the Hackerarium in Switzerland. Uh, he's raising his hand over there. Welcome to Bosk. Uh, and there's uh, Jiwen Shin, I hope I'm pronouncing this at least halfway correctly, uh, from the TSRI, who uh, works on BioThings Explorer. Welcome to Bosk. Uh, so next deadline to apply is uh, August 15th, um, if you uh, have plans to attend an event. Um, in the bioinformatics um, and open source software, um, consider applying. Um, yeah, so I'm concluding here. Um, ongoing activities is really for us to develop a more long-term vision for how we want to um, put priority and uh, and and activities uh, that um, um, allow us to continue to grow and diversify our community. And then um, specifically also, how can we uh, uh, sustain the OBF Trouble Fellowship Program in the long term and perhaps even start growing it. Uh, connect with us, please. Um, we have presence on the web. If you're new here, you may not know all these things, right? So as I said, we're on GitHub. We're on Twitter. Um, there's our website as well. We have a news blog. And specifically, if you want to take a role in this organization that, you know, participating in governing decisions, um, votes that come before the membership, considering, as Nomi already pointed out, to join us as a member, all right? Uh, there's a link there, right there on the web uh, uh, site um, that says join. If you click on it, you come up with that page. Um, the membership application is all electronic, meanwhile. And really, the only criteria is that you agree with our principles. By attending BOSC, you've already essentially stated that you agree with our principles. And if you do not, then we need just a short statement as to how you're agreeing with our open source um, uh, and open science principles. All right. Um, thank you very much. Welcome to BOSC again. Um, I hope you enjoy the two days here. In fact, I'm pretty sure you will. 
And so uh, with this, I'm going to, I think, turn it over to Kai. 